we will begin our study on calculus by talking about limits, because limits are key to understanding calculus. But in order to talk about limits, we must first learn how to read um, the limit notation. So consider the following. You can read it either as the limit as x goes to 2 of x squared minus 5x, or the limit of x squared minus 5x as x goes to 2. So these are the two different ways that you might read uh, the limit notation. So now for the function x squared minus 5x above, let x approach 2 in a table as follows. We're going to be looking at limits first using tables. Now, you'll want to fill this in, and the way that I obtain these values here for f of x is by simply plugging this into my calculator, and uh, I, use, I use the function, and I keyed in values for x, and it gave me the output. So these are the values. So let's look at this for a second. We are approaching 2, and we're starting at about 1.5. So let's take a look here. We're approaching 2, and we're starting at about 1.5. Notice how we're coming in from the left. Okay, we're going from 1.5 to 2. And notice that it seems to appear to get very close to the value of negative 6. So in the table right here at the top, the right column, the function value, seems to approach negative 6, and in fact, it is exactly negative 6 at the value of x equals 2. Now let's look at the table in the bottom. For the same function, let's approach 2 from the right now instead of the left. So this is what this will look like. So we are approaching 2 from the left-hand side and we're going to start off at 2.5 now. So we're coming in from the right hand side. So notice as you go down your table of values you have negative 6.25, negative 6.24, negative 6.21, negative 6.16, negative 6.09, and finally at 2, negative 6. So if you notice here the limit of the function appears to be what number? Well, it appears to be negative 6. And actually, the way we would write something like this is as follows. We would say that the limit as x approaches 2, as x goes to 2, of x squared minus 5x equals negative 6. So this is the answer to our problem here. Now at this point you might notice well what, are, what if I had just plugged in 2 into the equation in the first place? I would have gotten negative 6. Well that's a very interesting point to make. So let's, that, That's a very interesting point. So let's go ahead and take a look at the following. It says, again, the limit seems to be approaching negative 6. Notice that for our function, f of x, x squared minus 5x, um, for f of 2, we get negative 6. So why use table of values when you can just evaluate this? The fact is, we can do exactly that. There's actually a theorem in calculus. I like to call this theorem the plug-in theorem. Why? Because this allows us to plug in. Now the key is that this strictly works when we are talking about polynomials. So notice that the function x squared minus 5x is a polynomial. So when you're working with a polynomial, you can simply plug in the value that you're trying to approach, and that will give you your answer for your limit. Okay, And that's exactly what this right here states, but it is a theorem from calculus. So let's go ahead and, and look at some notation uh, for limits. So when we're approaching from the left, we're again considering the same table that we had looked at earlier. But now we're, gonna, we're going to consider a one-sided limit because this is going to be helpful later on. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We've got the same table with the same values. So we'll right here 
the following information. The limit as x goes to 2 from the left hand side and notice this little superscript of a negative sign that simply means that we're writing it as x approaching 2 from the left of the function x squared minus 5x well that happens to equal negative 6 now, doing so for the case where we're approaching from the right, that would look like the following. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right, notice the superscript, the positive sign there, superscript positive, of the same function, x squared minus 5x equals negative 6 as well. So, this is an important point to note because we're going to be discussing this a little bit later in another video, but it's important to note now what we mean by approaching from the left and approaching from the right. So approaching from the left has a superscript of a negative, approaching from the right has a superscript of positive. So keep that in mind when you're working on one-sided limit problems in the future. Made with DoodleCast Pro.